एवरी वन डू यू थिंक वी वुड हैव रियलाइज दैट प्लांट्स टू हैव लाइफ जस्ट बाई रीडिंग इट वुड वी हैव रियलाइज दैट ऑक्सीजन इज मस्ट फॉर कम्बशन जस्ट बाई लिस्निंग टू आर टीचर्स अफकोर्स नॉट वी वुडेंट हैव रियलाइज दिस विदउट एक्सपीरियंसिंग It is not just these science facts. Any simple academic and non-academic concept would etch in child's mind if it is taught through practical activities and experiments. The experiential learning is not only effective but also makes children to take active part in their learnings. Instead of teaching a child on watering plants let him or her water the plants in garden child gets more emotionally involved and enjoys too and of course the learning becomes part of an activity we at ck are in continuous support for activity based learning from the very first day of schooling can you believe small children performing the activity of measurement yes that's true children are introduced to measurements and different unit of measures through different activities children use the measuring tape to measure the length and with of different materials trying out how many 250 ml bottles of water is needed to fill 1 liter bottle instead of just learning them theoretically this helps in reinforcing these concepts in children's mind This method is not limited to few subjects. Clay molding is used to introduce the chinnes and matras in Kannada and Hindi subjects. Environmental science deals with most obvious things of one's life and hands-on learning makes perfect sense. to learn this life sciences instead of bringing awareness on reduced plastic usage through classroom sessions children are made to prepare paper bags themselves children are learning about windmills by crafting the paper pinwheel so to summarize this method makes children to actively participate in learning than just listening passively and of course makes the learning more enjoyable